Welcome back to the Taproot Software Academy video series. Today we're going to focus on starting a snapchart. Let's open our investigation and click on snapchart. Now let's add some shapes. To, to start, let's select incident. We can either drag the incident to the chart or we can double click and this will place the selected shape on the chart for you. Let's delete this duplicate shape. Right click and select delete. Click on the shape to add text. In our case, employee sprains ankle. Now let's add an event and some conditions that lead up to the incident. So select event, drag it. This is employee steps in pothole. Now let's select condition and we'll drag it over to the snap chart. And this is after dark. Since we already have condition selected, we can double click. And this condition is lights out. Now that we have added shapes, I would like to cover some of the tools located in the toolbar at the top of your snapchart window. First, we have the save icon. You can use this to save your snapchart. However, there is an autosave feature that will save every minute for you. Next is the save a copy icon. You can use this to save a different version of your snapchart. If you need to print a copy of your snapchart, you can use the print icon. The zoom in and zoom out icons will allow you to see your whole snapchart or a smaller portion. With the icons here, you can change the font attributes and the shape color for the shape or shapes you have selected. If you know the date and time an event happened, you would use the date icon to place the date over the event. So let's date, and then you would select date and apply. If you had identified either a good, failed, or new safeguard, you would use these icons. To mark the shape as a causal factor, you would use the causal factor icon. The causal factors and root cause trees will be covered in an upcoming video. This is a new feature we call snap cap. This can be used to take an image of sections of the snapchart to place on your report. So let's select the area capture the image and we can give it a name. And once it's saved, you can exit from capture mode. The gear icon will allow you to change the shape defaults. This will apply to all new shapes that you add to your snap chart. We now we have now successfully created our snap chart. If you have any questions, you can send us an email at support at taproot.com. Don't forget to check out all the videos in this series.